All right, let's take a look at uh, Twitterific on the iPad. It is uh, my favorite Twitter app uh, on the iPhone still. I, uh, I do like it a lot. Although well, Tweety's a close second. And you can see here there's a nice big list in landscape mode of all your tweets. And then over here on the left you've got, you can go to mentions. You can also go to direct messages. And you can get nice color coding so you can see. I'm not going to show you my direct messages. Um, if you scroll down, you can double tap on the top and it should take you all the way back to the top. Not totally responsive. There we go, I didn't tap high enough. Uh, if there's a pick, like a twit pick, it'll recognize that it's a twit pick and pop it up in this nice little box here at the top. If there's a straight link, you can tap the link and it'll give you a pop-up browser, which is pretty neat so you don't have to exit the app just to look at what the pick says, although you can open it in Safari to exit out if you want. You can tweet the link, email it, copy the URL, and so on. If you just want to take a tweet, you can tap on it. You can see all the replies to that author. You can translate it. You can email it. You can retweet it. You can also just tap the reply button, which will allow you to reply or direct message to the user. Of course, you can favorite it. Tap on that user's name, and a pop-up comes up so you can see that. You can tap on recent tweets see all the recent tweets from that user. Pretty neat. And of course all of this also works in land or portrait mode. It's just it gives you a nice huge display of, uh, of tweets. You can just scroll through here. It's nice and quick. Roger Ebert. And when you do it in portrait mode you get a full browser page instead of just uh, something a little bit crimped down which is pretty neat. There's Roger Ebert's review of On the Waterfront. And of course, you know, since it's a standard browser view, multi-touch works just fine. Another nice feature if you're into lists is you can see your own lists. So here's everybody at SPE. Here's our editors. A little slow. And some dings and dongs. Of course, if you have multiple accounts, you can ha have multiple accounts loaded up. I need to upgrade for that, of course. It also takes ads out of your timeline. So there you go. That's uh, Twitterific on the iPad. I am uh, I'm a pretty big fan.